Hisense has spent the last couple of years gaining significant popularity around the world, and it mainly has to do with how the company has been able to balance quality, features, design, and affordability into its products. We've seen their smartphones, but the company was nice enough to sponsor part of our coverage for CES 2019 to show us their new line of 4K TVs, all powered by Android TV. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now. Let's dive in. There are a good amount of highlights to mention when it comes to Hisense's approach to smart TVs, but probably what I like the most is its approach to Android TV. For those of you looking for Roku televisions, they do have the R6 and R7 in addition to others, but I actually spend most of my time really impressed with Android TV. Google has really made a major push here. To begin, for those of you that like the whole new concept of smart displays, assume that Android TV has grown up to pretty much bring part of that user interface and blend it into how televisions and smart TVs are handled. This pretty much means that this is not just a smart TV for content consumption purposes. You can communicate with your Google Assistant for pretty much anything through the remote. And let's talk about that remote. Today, these are either too convoluted or too simplistic. I like the approach from Hisense where the remote has a size that's just about right, enough buttons for navigation, and shortcuts to popular services that people actually care about. And now for the stars of the show. Hisense has shown us their new U9F, H8F, and H9F lines of 4K Android TV powered televisions. Leading the list is the company's flagship, the Hisense U9F. We have an insane 75 inches on this display, but that's just part of the story. What's even more important is the company's proprietary ULED technology and high view chip. It uses AI picture quality enhancing algorithms to boost color and contrast through the wide color gamut of quantum dot technology. And we have a crazy 2200 nits of brightness to back that up. Yes, 2200. This allows for more advanced technologies like Dolby Vision and HDR10 to be supported, which is hard to find even today. When compared to other panels, it's easy to notice how colors like reds are more vibrant, and just the level of detail all around is fantastic, all packaged in an awesome, nearly bezel-less design. This model will retail for $34.99 and launch in June 2019. Now, if you're on a budget, don't worry, you can still enjoy the benefits of ULED. In the case of the H8F, we have it included, which means support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision. There's motion rate 240 for great refresh rates, and best of all, a sleek design that's aggressively priced. It starts at $399 for the 50-inch model and up to $749 for the 65-inch model, and launch plans are slated for May 2019. Now, if you want to take things a step further, there is the H9F to blend the best of both worlds. Following on the U9F, it also merges ULED with quantum dot technology for the added kick and color, and an even more powerful refresh rate through motion rate 480. The result is a line of displays that can go brighter than 1,000 nits, with a starting price of $699 for the 55-inch and up to $999 for the 65-inch panel, and also launching in May 2019. And going back to the conversation of smart TVs, what I care about most when buying one is not just what it can do, but how well it does it. Usually smart TVs are very clunky, but that's not the case here. I spent a good deal of time with the most affordable H8F of the group, and Android TV performed fast and smooth, and there's a huge selection of applications and services to connect them. I feel that Android TV has finally reached its initial promise of being an all-around service that's actually worth taking seriously. Overall, you know the way we work, we do not accept sponsorships unless these are products that we like and are willing to recommend, and that definitely is the case here. These are very nice 4K TVs so far. I cannot wait to get one for review to tell you more. Let us know what you think about the offerings from Hisense, and while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.